afternoon. Like, what? <laughs> People fill in the blanks. I hope none of your viewers ate breakfast. You've been warned. <laughs> yeah, the front is... It looks like Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> Polish beamer. If it. your mother is about between 40 and 60 years old... This is her soundtrack. He would have left your father for this guy. <laughs> any day. You have no idea how many years I've wanted to drive a Lada in the former Soviet Union. Like, You're riding on the wrong side of the road, by the way. <laughs> When's the last time you started it? In the summer. Really? <laughs> yeah. I want to make it winter drifter. Okay. Yeah. The guys fixed the... Uh, Gearbox pushing, yeah. engine mounts, and I need to do the rest, but I don't have time. Yes. <laughs> Is it hard to get around with that, like when it's that low? Yeah. You cannot get in the garage. No, I cannot get it from. I will, <laughs> How did you get it in here? Try to move now. It took uh, another car to take it in. Oh fuck! You had to push it with another car. <laughs> I don't know if that changes much. <laughs> the stickers on the window. I don't know if that will change anything. You don't see nothing anyway. <laughs> Surely, can he drive this on the road like that? No. This place is worse than somewhere back home. Like, it's pretty... It's pretty muggy and trenchy. Person or uh, yeah, he looks handsome. He is. Yeah, he's the prettiest guy in the world. <laughs> no rear suspension in this car. Yeah, there's just control arm and there's a chassis and it's sitting like this. Do only, you... <laughs> only I have damper, the shock. It's good that it moves. Yeah, it's... I'm really glad. Battery is dead. No way. That's a first. Usually it just starts. I never had issue with battery. So we've made it back to Poland. Um, somehow we managed to survive driving an 86, probably two and a half thousand kilometers. If you factored in like the ferry trip and the trip in the Channel Tunnel, maybe it's even more, maybe 50 hours. Huh? 50 hours. We slept for probably five hours. But like most of it was driving like two 24, 25 hour stints. It was pretty fucking nuts. Oh yeah. What's under the hood? Oh my God. Look at this. The worst engine of all the others. Is 1. it? 1.6. So what's hilarious is like Sam got his dream 86 and he was showing me his Japanese cars. But like I grew up around this shit. So all I want to see when I'm in Poland is like. Old car like this. Old cars like this and the BMWs and all this stuff that we don't. I don't know. I don't. We don't like put, do anything like this. So this to me is nearly more exciting. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was most excited to see this. I mean, the only reason I bought this car is because I grew up with these cars. So for me, they hold a special <clears throat> place yeah. in my heart. Worst car I've ever driven in my life by a mile. But you love it. Nothing works except the engine. That, that's all I can. Do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna hang out with like Sam and Marek and the guys for a few days and just have a look around. I'm completely out of my comfort zone with this stuff because uh, obviously the Japanese cars are more what I grew up around and what I have knowledge on. So. Easy. I like the little wind deflectors. Oh yeah, it's super difficult to find. Are they? Yeah, this one is broken but very expensive. Yeah. Very. I made the suspension so low as low as possible. Yeah. So only two people can drive this car now. People. You can't, you can't have four people. When I put my dog, which is like 30 kilos, no 25, it's rubbing <laughs> too much. <laughs> yeah, the sunshades are really cool. You say your friend makes these, does he? Yeah, I know. Oh, is this LPG conversion? Yes. Wow. So that's how huge it is. So like everything in Poland is LPG conversion, basically. Of course. Like, I would. I mean, my one doesn't work anymore. Yeah. When I bought the car, 
It only worked on LPG. Well, it was not uh, tuned for uh, petrol. Yeah. But then two weeks later, the car decided they just wants to work on petrol. Fine. So now it's on petrol the whole time. <laughs> but I don't drive it enough to care. Yeah. Yeah. It's mad how common LPG is here and back home. It's pretty rare. <laughs> Who would have known that like SSR Mark trees would look so cool on yeah. it? I'm gonna go American. The uh, what year is it? 78. Uh, no, 76. 76. So we're gonna go in the 76 ladder. So what would this have been called? then? is it a ladder? What's the set? Because in Ireland, well, 20, the only one. 106. Just 106. 2106. 2106. Because we only got like the Riva, I think, and uh, which I think is just. Uh, is that what they just call them in 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 like? Yeah, different uh, version. Okay. Uh, Same shell, but like different. Specification and tail lights yeah, and stuff, cool. Yeah. Or you can call them Zhiguli. Okay. That's the original Russian one. But that's what, yeah. yeah Fuck. That's all of them together. Okay. Fascinating, it's Let's mad. We get out of here okay. It's... I might try filming you getting out of here, I'll stay out of it to keep it light. Okay. So he's on summer tires and yeah, it's like They're slushy. 10, years old, 10 year old summer tires. Might need to push. This is my first time ever in a ladder. Yeah, you're gonna drive it later. Okay. Was this in it already? Yes. Jesus loves you, man. Jesus loves ladders. When you drive, when you drive this kind of car, you need Jesus. Yeah. You. Okay. Do people get excited when they see these kind of cars driving around? And it must be kind of rare these uh, days. Uh, yeah, especially my one because it still looks like sort of a stock car, yeah. just a bit lower, so it's very nice and simple. Yeah. Nice ladder dash. Is this? Aftermarket also. No, regular. That's oh how wow! It came out. That was the last version of the car that came out. So you were saying that these were like the nicest ones that they made because they actually put a bit of love into them. Yes, and then they made the zero sevens and the Rivas that you are. Yeah, that are just like super classic, basic and yeah, cheapest ones. Okay. But well, this one's still. And like wood nice. panel and yeah. console. Yeah. Look, like, uh, I'm gonna press eighty percent. <laughs> So yeah, if something suddenly appears, we're fucked. No, if you press 100%, it sort of stops. Okay. Ah, yeah, 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 but there's no in between. No. So, so what speed, is it like five speed or is it? Yeah, five speed. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them came with four speed, Yeah. Uh, but this one is five. The fuel gauge is a bit... No, nothing works here. Oh, oh. I told you, my electrics don't work. The only thing that works is the right. speed, but just because... Because it's analog. Yeah. Indicators don't work as well. Oil pressure, no idea. Yes. Uh, petrol. Oh no, it has petrol. Yeah. That's uh, because that's on uh, analog. Yeah, yeah. Analog thing. Okay, so we don't need to go. Good. What an experience to be in a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are in a place where the uh, CNC parts for E36s and E46s. Started with like you know ideas and then yeah. all these machines here. Wow. So let me let me stop. Like this. Yeah, here. Too clean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, he tested uh, all of the parts on the, his own car. Yeah. Uh, we bought this car a couple years ago as a first spot. It will, uh, will be just for a winter beater. Yeah. Uh, but we escalate then into. Escalate. Now it's not <laughs> the best. Okay. But he have a lot of lot of fun. He make it look super nice and after. And trashed. After season, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> now he put all of the cars in onto the, the next chassis. Next shell. It was. I think it was my first parts I ever made. It was like the. It's stud bar. Yeah. yeah. It's stud bar. So it was like first of all parts I ever made. And you make oh. all these. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck! Like this one doesn't survive too. Wow. It looks like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but we bent it in like four hours and yeah. it's still driving. <laughs> That's awesome. It was this one, the first. So I hit this way. It wasn't so fast, but it was the concrete. So it just stopped, like, yeah. yeah. It stopped me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it looked good. It was, yeah, then it was looking good. So it didn't last too long. So it's just. So this will be the new car? Yeah, yeah. So now we are going to prepare the very light, very lightweight car. Yeah. 
with the stock M50, uh, M54 B30. Yeah. And we want to no turbo, no supercharger. NA like, yeah. Yeah, NA, and we want to it be very light. Reliable as well, yeah. yeah. The light wheels, very grippy, very mm. soft uh, springs here. So I want the car to be fast and very grippy. So cool. We're gonna see how it works. Are these dicks? Yeah, I was wondering. Like, <laughs> if you want, you can take it because we're gonna we made the parts for alignment plates. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is inside of the part, like you. That's a cut the off. So there you go. There's a yeah. dick for you. Thank you for the dick. This is Thank for you. Uh, it is the angle adapters. Yes. Uh, for E46, E36. You don't have cut anything. Uh, just the uh, um, pushing. Okay. Push yeah. And it feels really good. Uh, it works with the big uh, wheels. Yes. Not, pro not a problem. Cost about 50 euro. So yeah, something like this. What? Yeah. I. What like? <laughs> Put this on the normal arm and. You know, this is what I will do then. Yeah, yeah. We are ready for disco here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the rest of the parts, you got the handbrakes. This is the classy one, handbrake. That's such a good idea to take it off then for police and stuff. Yeah. So like. It's a very good idea in Poland. So this is all made here. Everything like yeah, is yeah. incredible. So this one is reverse handbrake. Yeah. I mean, you have to pull it. Yeah, but it calls like levers because the cylinder is to the forward yeah. of the car, so it's a little bit smaller than than this one. See both you do. Yeah, same. Yeah. 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 Well, and both you can just unscrew it. Yeah. yeah. So, so then you can hide it. Yeah. That's such a cool idea. The mount for yeah, the engine and for the gearbox. Wow. It's basically the cop the copy of the rubber one or yeah. original one. Yeah. But yeah. This is a very interesting thing. It's the rotary spring plate. Yeah. So you can put it under the camber plate. Right. Because, yeah. Because a lot of people got the problem when they are turning. You can hear the spring. Yeah. So that's why uh, because it's because the unibal yeah. is stuck. Okay. So you, <laughs> then you get the problem with your uh, turning. Yeah. Going oh, it gets stuck on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Happens quite a lot yeah, to me. So the spring make the tension. Yeah. The okay. Over and you can turn it. So even if your um, unibar is stuck, yeah. it rotates. Like this will here. rotate. Because spring sits here. Wow. You can rotate it. What yeah. a good idea. Yeah. I love the. This is just amazing. Like the, yeah. your friends are just it's doing this in a simple as fuck, you know, and it's cheap and it's. But it's usually what works best, it like works. you know, yeah. It's like we got the ad adjustable arms, yeah, or control arms, so it's very simple. Like the pie with the thread, you can just mm. use the ROM screw here, and you can just unscrew it and make it longer, mm. make it shorter. Nice. You make these here also then as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. want to give more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking the. The penis team. You can do it like this, and this is for scrap your windows. In the windows. Ah. company. Thank you so much. Make that. Huh? Looks like this. Ooh. Four yeah. arms and then angle adapters. So this is the angle kit from my car that I crashed. Yeah. So it just behave exactly how it should. Yeah. Because uh, your suspension always, when you crash, should bend. Yeah. This is so cool that you guys have this like 10 minutes from from your shop. It's really, really cool, man. Like, they have all these machines as well, like, fuck. Yesterday we bought another one, machine. Really? Yeah, we don't have place, but we bought another one, so. So just do everything. She have to get the fuck out of the car. Oh, put the oh they put a machine in here. Completely empty. <laughs> it's funny how quickly places can fill so, up, like. This is, like, just a bit of, just piece that's in between, like, suspension, or whatever. Yeah. We need a couple of these done. And Bojo said he can just make them here so you can see and maybe film it. Yeah. We're gonna make it on the CNC later. Because cool. we got the 10 parts to make, so mm. it's faster to make it here. Yeah, penis is every I like that everywhere I go, the penis humor is always... I think it's 20 millimeters. Now we have to adjust the jaws. I mean, this is the 97 year. I think it's 25 years old. I don't really understand Germany. Okay. <laughs> and now we can just run it. So in Richten, I think it's uh, get ready in Germany, something okay. like this. See, we don't know what it says here. You just no, learn no. from memory, like yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I think I bought the first machine for making the parts, yeah. but I bought just the conventional, like this one. So I just was making the parts for the companies. Like you got the company who are making the machines like this. And I was just making small components for machines like this. Yeah. I think there was 2020 when the COVID starts. Yeah. So we just lost our work because all companies were just stopped the work. Mm. And then we start drifting with friends again because I wasn't drifting one year. 
we just bought, bought our cars and we start to hit parts. Yeah. So I just start making the parts, sell it to the friends and... And then buy machines and with the... Yeah. Escalate it quickly. Yeah. So now it's like here. How did you learn this? Did you just mess around with it and figure it out? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very slow now because this is the first part. You have to take care about any heat. That looks sharp. Yeah, I need to take it off. <laughs> it's gonna be much easier without this. <laughs> so this is the last thing we have to do, is measure our part. Yeah, it's basically perfect. Because now it knows like... Now everything is perfect, safe, so yeah, you can just run it. All these guys are a lot younger, and uh, yeah, I've just realized that, you know, older people were in the Soviet Union, so you couldn't really have access to like nice cars or go rallying or do anything back then. It just didn't really exist, so you're kind of like the first wave of car out of Soviet Union. people out of Soviet Union that are car enthusiasts. So we're doing what you were doing back in the day. Yeah, that's why you've got guys that are not even 30 with their own... CNC machines that are pretty much making whatever they they're can. Making dicks. Yeah, they're making. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that's the first thing I would do if I had one. It's just like make a dick. That's how you test it. It is how you test it. You probably see people it. fill in the blanks. <laughs> this place, this place is after blowing my mind. Like just a bunch of guys that are not even in their thirties yet, just making whatever they can because they don't have a lot of money. Like for the most part, so like. People are trying to drift as cheaply as possible here and as reliably as possible. It's just amazing. It really is. Yesterday, we were in the ladder. Today, I might drive it. You will. We're just waiting for the battery to charge uh, a bit more. Yeah. So we're on the safe side and then... <laughs> There's a funny story that's going on with this. Nobody wants it. Yeah. We sort of tried to sell it for the last half a year. Uh, we bought this uh, Italian piece of engineering <laughs> for 800 pounds or so. <laughs> thousand pounds, you can say. And uh, we straight away put wheels that are worth more than the car. And we put air suspension on it. And we have sort of didn't have a reason to use it. It's just standing around. It's uh, front-wheel drive, diesel, um, so it's not really, and manual as well. Yeah. It's a limousine, which doesn't make any sense. So it's just sort of the worst combination of everything, <laughs> and we don't know what to do with it. It looks, it looks cool. Thing, when you look from the back. <clears throat> yeah, the back is. Oh, it's like a, like a budget Rolls Royce. Yeah, it it's is. Really cool. But then the front. But then, I hope none of your viewers ate breakfast, because it might come out. <laughs> um, you've been warned. <laughs> Yeah, the front is... Not even a mother could love that front. Yeah. It's tough. I wonder why only 16,000 of these cars were ever made. Hmm. I'm also wondering. It looks like Sid from Ice Age. It does. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like though? You tried to make it as cool as possible and you probably did make the best version of this. Yeah, without a front swap, you cannot do much more with it. No. It has so many cool features yeah. that would make sense if that would be rear-wheel drive car or automatic car. So yeah. It would be cool to own it. So here, oh, you cannot see now, there is a light yeah. at night time that illuminates Lantia logo. Oh. Overall, it's a really cool car, except this. <laughs> Memory seats work, everything is electric, absolutely everything. Yeah. Even this is electric. You press a button to open it. And you've tried to sell this? Yes, and no one wants to buy it. And so this, yeah, like, well, I don't want to give it away, but it might have to get scrapped then or something, like, yes. potentially. I just show you the best feature. Okay. Lancia thought that uh, important people will use this car. So, you know, imagine you're an important boss, you have your meetings and you need to relax yeah. here, you know. Oh. You can move the front seat from the back. One of the countries in Africa, uh, the president is using this car, was <laughs> using this car. Ooh, that's huge, you could yes. fit. It you could fit many people that you've killed. Yeah, no problem. Nice it looks. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. I mean, if any of you watching want to buy it, I, I will sell it to you for 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to hurry up because otherwise... Uh, How many weeks do they have? Like a, a, a week. If you are watching this, it's too comment late. rest in peace, Rolly. 
you won't be missed. Uh, that is a car from our good friend Rome CP. Okay, I yeah. If you know it, he's a Formula Drift uh, driver. Um, Built it for next level. Yes, it's a typical Polish Beamer, really. Yeah. What well, what can I say about the Polish Beamer what, that people don't know? It's low. It's got those insignia, insignia steelies. steelies which are widened, which look like wedge sport wheel. There's nothing really you can say about a Polish. No. It's just if you imagine a Polish Beamer. Look, you can come to this side here. Side front. Yeah. Polish Beamer. I like the okay. spoiler. It's, it's pretty a bit high on the front. Yeah. So don't look at that. <laughs> But it's not. Yeah. Because Rom has a E36 that he is driving uh, in uh, FD. Yeah. And it's like 800 horsepower. And it's a proper competitive car, yeah, like, proper. yeah. Um, this just gets to be low and stylish and just. All the cars that he has, he also has one series with 1200 horsepower. The whole point of him coming here was that he enjoyed the. He just wanted to try different, something different mm. and go back to the grassroots without doing it in America. Because yeah. in America, in the trucks, you cannot really drive cars like this. Every truck that I've been to in America is either super fast or it has shit ground. Yeah, even my stepfather had one of these. That was the first car that I ever driven of, on his lap, you know, when I couldn't reach the pedals. Um, so you'll always have a kind of a strong yeah, it's just attraction point. to these, like... It's literally the worst car ever built in the human history. <laughs> it drives absolutely awful. Like... You know, I can compare it to this. The best comparison is this. You know when you have an old, ugly the dog that pisses everywhere on the floor, poops yeah. in the house. There's no reason to have this dog, but it's your dog and you love it. Yeah, this is my that's dog. it. Uh, but this car, this specific car, is a bit of a Frankenstein anyway. Yeah, it has the doors are not from this car. The loads of things are not from this car. But that's what you expect for a 50 year old car that came from Ukraine. Yeah, and it's surprising that it still exists, really, considering yeah. like these like the rust and they were pretty disposable. And this is a, uh, I don't know, pretty it's a there, good there's yeah. Some rust, but nothing too yeah. crazy. And the SSR Mark Trees that you got for it are a really cool choice. And each one of them is a different offset. Uh, yes, that's why if you look at my rear fitment, it's a bit different on both sides. Okay. Because, uh, I made the rear, how do you call the rear? Adjustable panel rod, like yes. it's the rod, yeah. So I made it, uh, me and Sam made it adjustable. We cut it in half, made a thread and, yeah. you know. So I balanced the wheels as much as I could, but still they're not perfect. Yeah. So on one side it's sticking out much more, and if you go to the other side it's uh, Oh yeah, it's and that's different. just because of the offset of the I, wheel. I like, couldn't yeah. get it anymore, yeah. really. That, yeah. And the black with the with the silver Mark III is like, when you put these on the first time, I was, I was just amazed. I, ne I, I don't know, I've never seen that combination before and I, I just loved it. But this is still the more budget version of the nicer. So there's a fancier version. Yes, the 03 is the fanciest version. So I see uh, NAMX5 just kind of forgotten here in yeah, the corner. Um, our friend Bozo, I don't know how many of you know him. Uh, they used to have very similar cars with Sam. Back in the day, two green Miatas drifting. Uh, it looks very cool on the track and all that, but now Bosa kind of forgot to put oil on the car for a year and the engine just exploded <laughs> started and it died uh, So he swapped an engine for the same one with back. Uh, he has a turbo in there 1.6 and uh, We're just waiting for him to continue working on it Oh wow That's amazing so cool. That's his, so cool. His girlfriend made it. That's him. very, very nice. cool. Is this your daily driver? Oh, yes. What have you nicknamed it? It's uh... Andrella. <laughs> it's a, uh, typical Eastern European girl's name, uh, just because it has angel eyes on the uh, front. This is a 2002 yeah. model. It's pretty impressive for 2002. Just that I listen to. So these are cassettes from the home country. Not home country, but. Well, you can say my country is occupied by Russia, so it's essentially I grew up in Russia. Yeah. You can say that, so. I just really, really appreciated this yesterday. Look at the airbrushing on this guy. Or maybe that's how he just naturally looked. He was a beautiful guy. Was he? You said he passed away last year? Yeah, or? something like that last year or two years ago. So what were the songs? The songs are about just like... Uh, this guy was singing only about love. Uh, let's see the playlist. Uh, Forget It, Summer, uh, Your Diary, Text Me, uh, I'm Losing You, <laughs> Remember It. <laughs> I don't like this park. Yeah. Evening together. Ooh. If your mother is about between 40 and 60 years old. This is her soundtrack. He would have left your father for this guy. <laughs> any day. It suits the classic Polish style. Yes. Try get the car basically in the ground. Exactly. I think this thing was like dragging its frame rails at like the uh, next level event. Oh, scrapes on the 
on a perfectly smooth tarmac. Yeah. That's how low it is. So we need to lift it for sure, which is uh, very unacceptable in my mind, but it has to be done. Just for winter. Yes, then you no can... <laughs> also another typical Polish Beamer, as yeah. you can see, just say, similar to Rome. But I like that now typical Polish Beamer is this and not the video we were watching last night, which I'm 100% oh, yeah. going to cut to now. So we were having uh, drinks last night and then the guys started putting on really, really Polish videos. Like, I mean, like... The videos that we grew up with. Yeah, and Polish syndicate videos and... Oh, yes. But Polish BMW style has... Evolved a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's just that people in Poland really care about how the style is. Yeah. First you make the car look good, then you worry about the rest. I think uh, BMWs don't really get the appreciation they deserve in other countries, especially Ireland, yeah. where we treat them like disposable cars because we have the, the JDM cars. But people here don't have the money for the JDM car, so this is the car. Uh, in Poland, it's very similar, actually, to you. It's just that we don't have nice JDM cars as our main cars. We have nice BMW and the shit one that we buy. Okay. Later, so. <laughs> same thing, then. Yeah, right. It's just the same uh, car. Yeah. I mean, there's S13 in Sam's house. Yeah. That's there for the winter. Kevin is in. Uh, yeah, we house. packed up Kevin and. Uh, did you show the people S14? I just took pictures of it, okay. so quick snaps. This car is just unkillable. I just haven't driven it for like. Properly driven these three months right now. Okay. Oh. Smell the quality. Tackling the snow like Summer a pro. Tires, no problem. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> so, Neil, how does it feel to drive Soviet Union? You have no idea how many years I've wanted to drive a Lada in the former Soviet Union, like, countries. This is the best thing ever. Like, You're riding on the wrong side of the road, by the way. <laughs> there we go. Yes. The brakes uh, are somewhere. But the gearbox, you said this is the best gearbox you've ever experienced in a Lada. In Lada, yes, look. And it's like really, really Pretty beautiful. decent, no? Yeah, I really like no. it. It's beautiful. It's oh. everything I wanted it to be. It actually lives up to the expectations. And you said this is the best one I will ever drive because yes. it's got nice suspension and it's got wider wheels and you've got some nice little bits. Yeah, suspension is stiffer, so it actually... The suspension is from Lada Niva, which is a 4x4 car uh, from the company. Yeah. And uh, that makes it way stiffer and much nicer in handling because it's also lowered. Yeah. So it's just much nicer to handle. And then the seats are really comfy, so the car is probably very stiff, but the seats are really soft and lovely. Yes, because they have springs inside, yeah. still the old style of springs. Oh, yeah. we actually have to stop. I'm scared, but I really enjoy it. Thank you so much <laughs> for allowing me to do this, honestly. This stuff is so rare in Ireland. Ladders did not last long in Ireland. They were all scrapped, so. so that's why just interesting for you. Yeah, super interesting. I like the shift now. Where did you get this? Uh, so the story is that, uh, the story is that uh, for some reason, every ladder ever had, uh, everyone changed the shift knobs for rows. Yeah. It was either this or what, like a Audi 80. That was it, like. Yeah. That was in once in the Soviet like Union yeah. time, and then when the people. Sierra Escorts were very popular as well. They were there cheap. That's about it, really. Wow. That's it. Make sure you indicate. Oh yeah. There's no indicator. <laughs> the speedometer. The speedometer and petrol gauge sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. So we need to go to a, a petrol station just in case. But it's an old car. Not many people will expect you to indicate. So when is the last time you put fuel in this? <laughs> when was I wearing t-shirt and shorts last time? In the summer, summer. I think. Yeah, <laughs> summer. I put like 10 liters will be enough for a while. Mm. So here's a quick look inside their shed. It's funny that we all just have sheds in different places around the world to work well, on this stuff. Anyway. Yeah, it's very similar to ours. Lots of hoarding 
of parts. No, that's our chilling zone. We built it so we oh, used to have, there is a TV there. So this is the chill with zone. Next, with, there's a TV with an Xbox there. <laughs> and then this happens. Yeah. No, they they use it. They go there chilling. Yeah, it looks yeah, really. The parts are chilling. Looks really chill. Yeah, the parts are chilling. I can show you my kitchen. Yeah. I built it actually uh, a few weeks ago. Okay. This is very nice. It's got Coffee, everything. tea, anything, milk, I have it. So Adam's here doing the roll cage on the, the 32. He's having fun measuring. Like you're saying, this is his first time tackling a proper roll cage. Yes. So he's, He built one with Sam for Kevin, but it was just for a show. Yeah. It's not very functional. So all this wall is kind of skyline. This is all the stuff that came with this car. So it's all here in various states. There's like 1UZ, BMW adapters, and it's gonna be on throttle body. So it's probably going to be the only one of those combinations, I would say. You can't say that, because somebody's done, probably done it already, but it's gonna no, be- there is one skyline with 1UZ. Okay. Stock 1UZ. Yeah. And this is gonna have like BNK, it's got Meister M1, so it's gonna be a unique combination. And the 1UZs, the reason why they use them over here is because it's the cheapest JDM engine that they can get their hands on. Like in other countries like Ireland or the UK or America, especially Ireland, we take it for granted that we have so many SRs and RBs and like 1Js and all that stuff, but like it's a lot harder for these guys to find that stuff and it's very expensive, so they try and make do with the most reliable, best available thing that they can do, you know, so it's interesting. I like coming to a place like this to, to remind myself that like, you know, Ireland is rainy and depressing, but we actually have a lot of cool Japanese cars. And the stuff that they if, work. If the car is not being worked on, there's no reason to keep it in the garage. Yeah, that's a good idea because we store all our cars in the same places where we work and everything gets covered in shit all the time. Because Sam was really concerned about getting snow tires or, or just winter tires and we couldn't find any because in Ireland, nobody really seems to care about winter tires. There's the over fenders that were on Adam's head for like 20 hours maybe. That's it? Yeah, that's a it's simple place. Simple place. But you got everything you need. You even have a tire machine. We don't even have a tire machine. Once you have a tire machine, I can tell you a hack. Once you have a tire machine, you will find a million more friends that will call you. Oh yeah, it's like having out a- Out of nowhere. It's like having a van. Out of nowhere, a guy from your school from 15 years ago will be like, Yo, how are you today? Yeah, we haven't spoken in a while. By the way, I need to change my tires. Maybe I <laughs> Everything. Yeah, it's funny how that happens, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Magically, your friends. Are yeah, you have much more. Don't buy that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the super fast tour of the lads shed. Yeah.